hello everyone welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video as you can tell by the title i'm like guys i've literally been scrambling all morning and i'm just now like taking a breath to talk so as you can tell by the title today's video is my winter formal get ready with me and vlog i'm so excited that today let me put this down is finally here i feel like we've been doing prep for it or at least i have forever just between like nails, dress, shoes, hair, like everything. I'm excited I have to leave my house literally right now because the flower place I got, the boutonniere for Kez, I'll explain all that and my corsage from, they're like, we're closing early, can you come get it now? And I was like, uh, yeah, I guess, cause I didn't, obviously, like I don't have much of a choice. So I just got out of the shower, my hair is still wet, but I have my dress right here, my shoes and like other random things in this box. And then everything for just whatever else I need to have my curling iron in here and all my clothes in the bottom for Alyssa's house because I'm spending night there after because there's a little after party at her house. I'm gonna get going. I haven't eaten anything today, which I do not promote that. Look at me. All that I've done today, I got up at 10.45, was edit my vlog from yesterday so I didn't have to worry about it and I could just post it on Sunday and I finally got that done. So I'm going to Amanda's house to get ready with Grace and Alyssa and Amanda, obviously. So I just haven't had time to eat anything. So I'm gonna go through a drive-thru somewhere. I'll talk to you when I get in the car. Off to the flower shop, then Starbucks or somewhere to get food and then Amanda's house. I made it. This lady literally parked like all the way out in that space So I barely fit in here, but I need to lock the car. Look how pretty you guys. I'm gonna die So I got gray ribbon on the corsage because he has a gray suit so it'll match with the white roses and the baby's breath It's so pretty. I just need to keep it in the refrigerator so these don't die or get weird or whatever Can we talk about how I complained about the ladies parking and literally parked like this? Cool. I made it, guys. I said the wrong name when I she came. Saw it. Boy, she saw, she saw Can it. I say your last name on here? Yeah. So Amanda's last name is Cheris, but whenever I first met her, I thought her name was last name was Cheseret. So I just it her contact no in my phone is Mandy Gray Cheseret. It's like a whole thing. I don't like call her anything else. So I just went up to the thing and they're like, "Who are you here to see?" And I'm like, "Amanda <laughs> Cheseret." I literally oh, said Amanda, Amanda Cheseret. I was like the. Ch Family. We all have nicknames. It's green yeah. and gray. Um, Look at how fashion show. stunning. Alyssa, this is a family. Square necklace. <laughs> it's the best one. I can't control it. It's a square neckline. <laughs> I tried to get the most conservative neckline I could find. It's a square. You look gorgeous, Alyssa. Thank you. You just have to do your hair and then it'll be ready, yes. right? Yes. You look gorgeous. I believe you're already ready to go. I'm like just here. I take so long. She takes like two In seconds. My I slippers. literally take two seconds to get ready. Look yeah. who it is. It's me, guys. Sure. Hey, it's Mandy yeah. Chester. Yes. So Mandy has a little crush on James Charles, even though we all know he's into men and she is a woman. Oh, why are we talking about this? She I'm gonna do my makeup first. So do, do you guys want to talk to the vlog? I do. Oh, what should okay. I talk about? Give me a topic. Amanda has really good relationship. Wait, 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 real quick, guys, before we get into relationship this. advice, I got it. No, 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 me first. Amanda, well, I've known her for a while, but I haven't, I didn't really get close with her until like the past couple months. And so far, in a lot of situations, Amanda has given me very good relationship advice. This is kind of shaking. So I thought that while. <laughs> Stripping. I'm tripping. Is that not right? <laughs> it's just because I see my performance. Like, <laughs> she gets so passionate. Grace is gonna be here in like 45 minutes, but I figured that while we get ready, Amanda could give you guys some good relationship advice. I have a little something for the world. You do. I bring you comedy. Alyssa <laughs> is here to bring you comedy. Comedic relief. Okay, Alyssa, I'm not gonna be able to talk about this unless you like stop staring at me because I'm gonna laugh. <laughs> Sorry, I just leave the room. Okay, I have been asked to give some relationship advice. I just, I need make I'm curling my hair. I know. It is really toasty. Oh my goodness gracious. Let's get the fan pumping. I have some relationship advice for you today. Lissy is gonna curl her hair, but just focus on me. Anyways, <laughs> just kidding. Something I've learned in the past two years with two of my relationships is that, well, this goes for friends too. Mm -hmm. Oh, friends 100%. Do primers with the two relationships. Um, okay. Can you stop interrupting? I have to start over. It was a one of the biggest things, even just with like friends, you have to communicate with directly with the person. It's kind of like a make or break thing. Because if you go around it and you talk to other people about people it. People can't read your mind. Yeah, people can't read your mind. Like, 
talking to other people about it is just not gonna work you have to go directly to the person and so i think just go to the person talk it out even if you're scared about it just like be like hey i really want to talk about it because the last two relationships i had the communication was awful and they both ended tragically and it was because of that that's my best advice and i think if the other person isn't down to communicate with you then it's just not gonna work don't keep going back and forth with them if they're not going to be down to just talk it out calmly because if they're not then they're probably not the right person for you and that's you're also not down to talk it out calmly yeah then you're right for each other yeah let's pray about it because you know what if you if you're the angry one and you don't want to talk it out calmly just that. pray and ask god for help to keep you calm yeah because and what's meant to be will be like that's the big thing i've learned yeah like what's meant to be yours will be given to you i mean if you want something but it's not for you it's better if you don't get it because it could cause a lot of problems that you just don't know about i mean you can listen to your own advice and stuff <laughs> i do need to see i like give this advice and then i just don't take it myself that you don't want to force well. anything like it's better to yeah, get out of it if you sooner. that's my relationship advice you have to be honest you can't force don't hide feelings, feelings. or feelings like you yeah. just you can't force Alyssa. if you want to like someone you can't force yeah. it yeah you know because that's not fair for the other person i don't know there's just a lot of random things i've been talking about but i hope it helps you guys because i wish someone would have spoken with me about the communication thing because that could have saved a lot of friendships like for me i get really scared to talk to people about it because i'm like oh what if they get mad at me what if they react badly but if the other person isn't willing to listen to how you feel and they're going to react badly then they're not worth your time have a blessed day, everyone. Thank you, Amanda. Alyssa's gonna have a little segment, and I will see you guys when I'm ready. Can I do any tongues? I'm like gonna throw up. Oh. For all of a sudden, all of a sudden, all of a sudden, the no, Katie's I'm struggling. Fine, she needs like, some tongues. That really took a turn for oh. the worst. Katie's probably not even gonna include this because I have no good advice because I'm just emotionless and heartless and I really don't know how to work with my emotions. You have to embrace the sadness so you feel the happiness. You know what I mean? Take it from someone who doesn't do that. Also, my voice is gone because I'm really, really loud. Oh, also, okay, I'm gonna go on a rant. Cut out everyone who's toxic in your life. Like, I'm not even, okay, sorry. Quick break. I'm not even straightening my hair, right? They put you down, or like casually put you down, or talk about you behind your back. I think you should always be nice, but at the same time, know your worth. But don't talk bad. I love Alyssa's message. I fully support everything she's saying, but I cannot take her seriously. Flinging the brunch around while she's talking, it makes it so much better. Go around, stooping to their level, and talking bad about them. What, what are, are you talking, talking about, Alyssa? I said cut out toxic friends. Oh! <laughs> Beautiful okay. advice. Well, when I overthink things, she puts some reasoning into my <laughs> life. Katie specializes in giving advice about relationships with God, and she gives good advice like both ways, like about not overthinking. She's pretty reasonable with everything. Like she always has good advice to give. Oh, I know what I yeah. like that. That will throw hands for you. If you talk <laughs> back about Katie, Allison, Grace, or Amanda, I will come for you. It's going down. Alyssa's an eight on the Enneagram. We'll pause the advice for now. I will update you guys in just a second when Grace gets here and then whenever I'm done with my makeup. Talk mm. to you soon. All right, my makeup is all done. Oh, what? There's Alyssa, she's in the middle of her hair and look who's arrived. Gracie J. Me. It's Gracie Wacy. Ladies and gentlemen. Huh. <laughs> and she is having some issues with her foundation. Yeah. Hey, you can play the music again, Alyssa. She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's lining up to see her. There must be something that features. You'll find her beauty goes much deeper once you get to meet her. Okay, my hair is done. It looks kind of big. We're all having a little bit of a crisis. But I won't get you in it, don't worry. My hair is done. We have like 15 minutes till we're leaving. 4.48. Holy frick. Oh my god, I just cut my hair. Are you okay? I'm gonna see you guys when I have my dress on and show you the full outfit. We are- No, you look beautiful, Amanda. Stop. I kind of feel like I look like a 25-year-old going to a business meeting with my tan here and my no necklace. But it's okay. Amanda looks actually stunning. I don't like that face. Smile. Alyssa, let's see the look. I look like a stripper. You do not look like a- Guys, will you guys <laughs> literally look at that dress, Grace? She would understand. Feeling. Oh, the lime green shoes really make the whole thing work. Your hair. I'm hey. literally obsessed. 
I need to get the flowers out of the refrigerator. Amanda, I apologize in advance for what an absolute disaster we have made your house. Okay. Here's a better look at the um, uh, 25 year old going to a business meeting vibe. I'm driving in my car and then everyone else is going separately with Amanda's mom. So we are abiding by the law. Okay, I'm ready to go. I'm gonna follow Amanda's mom to the place that we're taking pictures. And you might be like, wait, why is your date not picking you up? I'm going with Kez, you guys will you guys will meet him in just a second. Um, but he had a baseball game. A bunch of the boys we're going with had this stupid baseball game that like conflicted with everything. It ended like an hour earlier than it should have, which is great because we thought they all probably wouldn't make it to the pictures, but they're coming. So we're just gonna meet them there. I love getting dressed up and like, I love a production. So I'm just to see you there. Come here. There he is. Hi. Hello, I'm walking right now. I'm, I was just running, but now I'm walking because I'm vlogging. I have my corsage on to go meet everyone for dinner because they won't seat us until everyone's there and look who it is. Hi. So I'll talk to you when we get to the restaurant. People are looking at me because I'm okay. look like a psychotic person Did vlogging with the camera. Amanda. Oh, hey vlog. Hey. We made it. We're waiting to go inside. Hey, but he's Hello. camera shy. He's camera shy. But I'm not. Okay, I look a little crusty right now, but I'm eating my brownie and editing. So basically I got like no footage whatsoever at the dance because I turned my bag into this lady at the front door who said to come get it afterward. And Kez had my phone in his pocket the whole night. So I just screen recorded some videos from other people's stories and I'll insert those right here. And then it'll cut to a clip of me after the dance. Sorry, my mom's watching a movie. This is so chaotic, you can't even hear me, but I hope that makes sense. <laughs> guys i just got out of the thing i came back to my car i feel like i'm in an alternate universe a little bit so i've taken a moment to just like sit in my car before i drive because i want to be clear with my head and everything i had so much fun you can see in my face like i just was jumping around so much i turned in my purse at this little thing that we come back to afterward because i just did not think it was a good idea to take the vlog camera with me because it would get like broken or stolen or whatever i am going to Alyssa's house now i'm gonna be there in like it's like about a 20 minute drive for the after party Sadly, my day is not gonna be there, but I'm probably just gonna like, sleep in Alyssa's, <laughs> in Alyssa's bed because I'm so exhausted. I could go home, but I think it's a shorter drive to go to Alyssa's house than it is to go home. So I'm like, I'll just go there and I have all my stuff with me anyway. So I'm gonna go, I need to take this off so I don't rip it or something, but it looks so pretty. And I will see you guys when I get to Alyssa's house. Okay, it is the next morning. I vlogged absolutely nothing yesterday. I just changed, but you should have seen this this morning. We were a wreck. There was no drugs, no alcohol at this party, I swear to you, but we all look like we Hungover. <laughs> like all, I always look like this. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we had a lot of fun though. It was a great I had time. a lot of cookies and brownies. The way I'm like. <laughs> we want to thank you guys for watching today's video. Hope you enjoyed. If you are in a state where or a school where they're not allowing that stuff, maybe you could like live. Guys, we look so bad vicariously. So I looked us. really good when I was giving my advice yesterday, but now I look like I'm just kidding, guys. I actually had a cry yesterday because I hated the way I looked. Guys, I was trying to say you can live vicariously. Through us, maybe I don't know. Film through us, I'm going home. We had so much fun, and I will see you guys very soon in my next video. Bye, guys. What?